Hi, I'm Lisa Sorensen. Welcome to the Agent Enablement course for Dynamics 365. We all probably have had at least one bad custom service experience in our time. And have you ever heard the saying, when someone has a good service experience, they will tell one person. When they have a bad experience, they will tell 10. Or how about this one? It's more expensive to lose an existing customer than it is to win a new one. With all this said, they are indications of how important customer service is and how important it is for customer service agents to be able to handle customer issues in a quick and efficient manner. To be able to do that, it is necessary for the agents to have all the pertinent information in front of them, such as who's the customer? What issues are they having? Are they having other issues as well? Are they related? Have they, have they had these issues in the past? What was done to resolve them? Is there an article that will help resolve the issue? Do they have a service contract with us? These are all questions that agents will probably ask when working with customer issues. The customer service module for Microsoft Dynamics 365 focuses on how an organization can nurture customer satisfaction through automation of business processes and valuable tools. The Agent Enablement for Customer Service course provides an insight into some of the powerful customer service functionality capabilities for Dynamics 365 to help agents manage customer support issues. This course guides you through the process of working with your customers, including resolution of customer complaints and service issues effectively, and provides insights on managing all related correspondence, documents, contacts, and conversations. For this course, some of the objectives include Introducing the basic record types and business processes that are involved in the customer service module. Utilize cases and cues to efficiently and quickly resolve customer complaints and service issues. Examine service level agreements and how to create and manage them. And also, utilize entitlement templates to create entitlements and understand how entitlements relate to cases, products, and service level agreements. A key aspect of a customer relationship management strategy is customer service. Microsoft Dynamics 365 provides many features and tools organizations can use to manage the services they provide to customers. In this module, the objectives are to evaluate examples of customer scenarios where the customer service capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be applied. To define the basic record types utilized by the customer service functionalities of Microsoft Dynamics 365. To better understand the context of the customer service module, let's review some real life customer scenarios. Addressing and solving customer or product issues. Paul Cannon is a customer of Contoso Bicycles. He recently discovered that the suspension on his Contoso mountain bike is defective and not functioning correctly. Paul contacts Contoso Bicycles to discuss the issue to obtain help with his bike. This issue is logged in the mountain bike support request queue, and Rob is the mountain bike support specialist for Contoso Bicycles and receives the issue through Microsoft Dynamics 365. Rob will work with Paul to schedule a service activity to repair or replace Paul's suspension. Receiving and answering customer questions. Jim Glenn is a customer of Fabricam Furniture. He recently received a new table he purchased through the Fabricam website. Although Jim tries to assemble the new table, he is not sure if he's assembling the table correctly. Therefore, Jim contacts Fabricam Furniture to ask questions to obtain help with his table. The question is received by Sydney, a customer support specialist at Fabricam Furniture. Sydney uses the knowledge base in Microsoft Dynamics 365 to find a frequently asked question, or FAQ, document for this table. She then uses the document to help answer Jim's question. And then lastly, collecting and applying customer feedback. Maria is the products manager for tables and chairs at Fabricam Furniture. She wants to collect feedback about the at-home assembly process when customers contact Fabricam. She uses the case management functionality of Microsoft Dynamics 365 to capture the feedback. 
She is also able to analyze the tables and chairs that are more troublesome for at-home assembly and the products that are easier to assemble. Additionally, Maria can determine the instructions that must be prioritized for editing and review for the at-home sets of tables and chairs assembly. When learning a new concept, software, or process, a great place to start is to learn the terminology and begin to understand how they fit into the big picture. This lesson reviews the basic record types that are used for service management. First, we'll begin with customer records. Typical customer service requests using Microsoft Dynamics 365 will be managed in relation to an existing contact or account record. These contacts and accounts are the same contact and accounts which are used by other areas of the business operations such as sales and marketing. A contact represents a person just as it does in Microsoft Outlook. And an account, on the other hand, represents companies, organizations, or groups of people. While these are the typical uses of accounts and contacts, different Microsoft Dynamics 365 deployments might use these record types differently. Within the default application, these are collectively referred to as customers. When entering the customer value on the case, for example, the user is able to choose either an account or contact. And next, we have cases. Cases are the fundamental record type in service management and represent a single incident of service. Different organizations may refer to cases using different terms, including incident, ticket, service request, and so forth. In other words, cases are anything in the context of a customer interaction that requires some type of resolution or answer. A customer can have many cases that are associated with his or her record at any time. And within Microsoft Dynamics 365, users have the ability to see open and resolved cases from the customer record. Cases can also have activities associated with them so everyone in the organization can see what is happening with a particular case. In addition, cases can have knowledge-based articles, subjects, products, and entitlements associated with them as related dependent record types. We also have activities. Activities are interactions between a business and their customers that are deemed important enough to track within Dynamics 365. As mentioned, activities can be associated with cases as well as other types of records. For example, when looking at all of the activities associated with an account or contact, the user can open the record and find the activities located under closed activities or open activities. Next, we have resolution activities. Once all the activities regarding a case are resolved, the case itself can be resolved. When the case is resolved, an activity type named resolution activity is created. This activity is found only in the closed activities associated with the case and displays, displays all of the case's resolution as well as how much time was spent on the case. Next, we have queues. A queue is a place to organize and store activities and cases that are waiting to be processed. Microsoft Dynamics 365 includes queuing and workflow tools to improve how incoming requests for sales and customer service are handled. A queue can be considered as a box, basically, where items are sent and retrieved by someone to handle. For an example, an organization might have a support team whose email address is support at contoso.com. If the support team receives an email message that is sent to this address, a member of the team handles the support case and works to resolve the issues for the customer. We also have knowledge base articles. The knowledge base is a repository of informational articles that can be used to help customer service representatives resolve cases. In some organizations, the knowledge base is also used to provide Microsoft Dynamics 365 users with information on how to not only resolve issues, but to answer questions as well. Knowledge base articles can also be emailed to a customer, which can be sent through the Microsoft Dynamics 365 interface or even through Microsoft Outlook. Then there's also entitlements. Now entitlements can be used for, or can be used to specify the amount of support cases for which 
a customer is entitled. For example, a customer's entitlement in Microsoft Dynamics 365 might allot 10 support cases that they can use at their discretion. Once the customer uses all their allotments on the entitlement, they will no longer be able to, they will no longer be able to associate any more cases with the entitlement. Associated to entitlements are entitlement channels. Entitlement channels specify the type of service a customer is entitled to. Some examples of entitlement channels are phone, email, web, or even Facebook. So a customer can have five entitlements through email and five entitlements through a web interface. And then of course we also have service level agreements or SLAs. SLAs define the level of service or support that your organization agrees to offer to a customer. Again, for example, a customer signed a service level agreement stating that all support cases would be resolved within two business days. It is now our responsibility as a, customer, as a company to make sure that that happens. It is also possible to associate an SLA with an entitlement so that when the entitlement is added to the case, the associated SLA is also applied. And then the last of the entity and record types include the subject tree. The subject tree is a hierarchical list of subjects an organization can use to classify service cases and other records within Microsoft Dynamics 365. The subject field is presented as a lookup field on the default case form and is often used to clarify or to sorry to classify cases. We also have products. Products within Microsoft Dynamics 365 product catalog can be related to a particular case and can help provide more detailed view of cases, resolutions, and customer feedback at the product level. Now, it's important to note that while products can be associated to a case to better categorize particular types of cases, there is no transactional aspect of the cases that leverage products for pricing or invoicing. In addition, the use of products with cases is optional and might not be applicable to all organizations. Next, there are goals. Organizations can use the goal management features to establish and track progress against target values for key performance indicators, or KPIs. For service management, these might include metrics such as case resolved or in-progress cases. And then finally, there is the servicing module. The servicing module allows users to find qualified resources that are available to provide specific services to customers. For example, if a customer contacts a service user asking if someone can come on site to provide specific services, the user could create a service activity and from there identify the service as well as the time frame the customer would like the service to be provided. Now, while this module is technically part of the overall service entity, some organizations might not or might find it is not applicable to their business and will choose to not leverage that functionality. In Microsoft Dynamics 365, the service module consists of many different types of functionality that all assist in how successful an organization can be with its customers. In this module, the objectives were to evaluate examples of customer scenarios where the customer service capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be applied. And also to define the basic record types utilized by the customer service functionality of Microsoft Dynamics 365.